Autumn by William Kingston Before the glory comes and goes for year, the buds of spring, those beautiful harbingers of sunny skies and cloudless times, enjoy life's newness, and those greenitudes spread out, and then the silver habit of the clouds comes down upon the autumn sun, and with a sober gladness the old year takes up his bright inheritance of golden fruits, a pomp and patient fill the splendid sea. There is a beautiful spirit breathing now, its mellow richness of the cluster trees, and from a beaker full of witches' dyes, pouring new glory on the autumn woods, and dipping in warm light the pilchard clothes. Morn on the mountain, like a summer bird, lifts up a purple wing, and wails a gentle wind, a sweet and passionate wooer, kisses the blushing leap, and stirs up life within the solemn woods of ash deep crimson, and silver beech, and maple yellow leafed, where autumn, like a faint old man, sits down at the wayside of weary. Through the trees the golden robin moves, the purple finch, red on white cherry and red cedar feeds, the winter bird comes with its plaintive whistle, and pecks by the witch hazel bites the loud from cottage roofs the warbling bluebird sings, and merrily with oft repeated stroke sounds from the freshing floor of a busy flail. Oh, what a glory doth this world put on for him who with a fervent heart goes forth under the bright and glorious sky, and looks on duties well performed and days well spent. For him the wind, I and the yellow leaves, shall have a voice and give him eloquent teachings. He shall so hear the solemn hymn, but if he is lifted up for all, he shall go to his long resting place without a tear.